world might be my biggest enemy. That's why I challenged myself again to leave my comfort zone. Because I know the human mind is capable of so much more than we think ah. possible. Oh, God. Ah. I'm having issues thinking clearly. I have no idea why I want to do this. It's raining, there's snow, it's cold. I literally hate the cold. I'm not a big fan of winter at all. That's why doing this challenge is so out of my mind. But I'm taking cold showers since like two years now and I'm taking ice baths since a year. And since then I'm a little bit more comfortable with the cold but something like this oh i really don't know all right i think i'm gonna get naked here and start walking this way up oh. all right so before i strip my clothes off i actually gonna do some breathing exercises and just got get mentally prepared for this oh. Let's do this. Oh. Oh. The rain is already annoying. Right. <laughs> oh. So I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop the timer. The rain is the worst. It's like this constant cold falling on my body. Let's do this. So far it's okay. I mean, I'm just one minute in, but <laughs> it's okay because my feet are warm, my hands are warm, my head are, is warm. So that already helps a lot. Well, the rain is actually super annoying. I think it would be better if it would be snowing actually. I'll see how this goes. I'll try my best to document this whole adventure. <laughs> All right, so the path is going here, but there's another path. So let's see where I get here. I have no idea why I'm doing this. This is ridiculous. So much snow here. Wow, look at this. All right, nice. Uh, so this is a dry place here. So wet, everything. So we are 24 minutes in and um, I'm actually doing all right, not too cold. I'm gonna do some breathing exercises now to see if I can warm myself up a little bit. I'm using the, the Wim Hof method, of course, because Wim Hof, the Iceman, right? I think it's really interesting how this whole cold thing, like even with the cold showers, it's like just, it's such an, a mental thing. Like if you can tell your mind that you'll be all right, that it's not cold, you will be not cold. That's the curiosity that I have with this, like being outside in the cold. Uh, with nothing on but swimming shorts. All right, so I definitely got a clear head again. So now I'm almost 45 minutes in. Wow, that's crazy. I've been here for 20 minutes. But yeah, let's keep moving. Snow in my shoe. That's dangerous, because as soon as I have cold feet, it's gonna be much harder. <sighs> oh, 
I'm actually starting to battle with my head because um, just before I had the thought of giving up that I want to go back home, that it's enough now. And as soon as I had those thoughts, I literally felt how my body got colder. So I need to refocus and um, get a clear head again and tell my body that I'm warm because why should I be cold? <laughs> but yeah, definitely struggling a little bit now. It's crazy, it's such a mental thing. Um, my hands start to get cold and also my feet. I can't really tell if my upper body is cold or not. Yeah. Does that look cold? Probably, yeah. Oh, God. I don't really know what I'm talking anymore. I came from down there. I'm gonna try go up here. The problem is actually that I don't have a goal where to get to. So that's why in my head it feels like I can give up at any time because there's no goal that I have to achieve. Maybe I should set myself a time goal because I, I believe I'm like one hour in now. And if I would say like one and a half hour, maybe that might be a goal. As you can see, I already talk a lot of nonsense here. Looking at this footage now makes me realize that at this point I was already way beyond my comfort zone. Literally the only thing I tried to focus on was to preserve my body heat. I don't really know what I want. I, I, I'm having issues thinking clearly. This sounds insane. I'm either thinking about going back or my English gets worse as well because um, I think the issue is my shoes are wet and if I keep going and then even if I put on the jacket I will probably still have wet and cold feet. I guess that makes it clear that I'm gonna turn around and walk back down. I really don't know. So, I've been here. Wow, this is crazy. Like even just 15 minutes ago, I was completely clear in my head. I was warm or kind of warm. And now it suddenly changed and I'm like confused. And it's weird. This is where I started. I almost made it back. It's definitely better to have a goal for something like this because now I know once I get there I'm done with this challenge and I completed it and I can put on my 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 clothes again. Oh yeah now I'm cold. I don't know why I've done that. This is this is where I've started. Ah, I've done it. Whew. Ah, okay. So, one hour, 38 minutes. Honestly, that's a lot longer than I have expected. I thought that even after half an hour, I'll be cold. I'm proud. I'm actually proud of myself that I did this challenge, even though I hated the cold. Let's put on clothes again. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> it always fascinates me how these kind of challenges are just in your head. It's just about leaving your comfort zone and, and um, having the right mindset to commit to those things and be like, okay, I can do this. But now I'm looking forward to get back to the house and take a hot shower. All right, back at the house and warmed up. I think I didn't realize how cold I was until I actually got back here. Um, but yeah, it literally took a while to get myself warm again. But it was a interesting challenge, especially once I got to the point where I 
was thinking about giving up and how I could feel my body get really cold at this point. So yeah, it just proved again that those kind of challenges, it's all in your head, which is just so fascinating to me. But yeah, let me know if you have any other ideas for a challenge. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and I'll see you next time. Thank you.